don't ruin your down jacket by washing it the wrong way. Today we're going over five simple washing steps so you can avoid common mistakes that might lead to you ruining your jacket. This video is sponsored by Knit Quacks, but we'll get into why they care about how you wash your down jacket a little bit later in the video. The reason why you want to be washing your down jacket is because over time, dirt, grime, and moisture builds up inside of the jacket, decreasing its loft. So if you wash it, you're going to improve its ability to keep you warm as well as increase its longevity. I've worn this down jacket a lot since its last wash and it's starting to look a little bit flat, lose a little bit of its warmth, and I think it's time for a wash. You're going to need four items when washing your down jacket. Not only are these specific items important to use but using them properly is key in order to avoid ruining your jacket the first thing that you're gonna need is a front loading washing machine top loaders can lead to down clumping as well as rips or tears in your jacket and because you want to be washing your jackets individually so only one down jacket in the washing machine at a time if you're using a top loader your jacket just tends to sit at the bottom of the washing machine and not get washed well the second thing that you want is a dryer. I get asked a lot whether you can air dry a down jacket when you're washing it, and you can, but it's gonna be a lot of work. And if you live in a high humidity environment, then don't even bother because your jacket's gonna take way too long to dry and potentially develop mildew inside of it. But a dryer is gonna do way better than air drying at reviving your jacket and really making sure that the down is distributed well and that there's no clumping. I highly recommend if you don't have a dryer, then find a laundromat in order to wash your down jacket. The third thing you're gonna want are some tennis balls. Tennis balls are super important to the process, but it'll be easier to explain why once we're going through the washing steps. The fourth thing you're gonna want is some sort of down specific wash. And this is very important to the entire process and is a big reason why a lot of people ruin their down jacket. Using a standard detergent like you'd use for washing your underwear is gonna ruin the down by stripping the down of its natural oils, as well as coating the down in a thin film. And that thin film is gonna decrease the amount of loft that the down can have, which is gonna decrease the effective warmth of your jacket. If you're not sure what loft is, it's basically the poofiness or puffiness that your jacket has due to the fluffiness of the down inside of it. There are several benefits of using Nick Wax in addition to just not ruining your jacket if you used normal detergents. The first one being that you can use Nick Wax with both regular and hydrophobic down. The second benefit is that Nick Wax doesn't use any PFCs or harmful chemicals in their formula. Nick Wax really cares about the environment and you can check out an entire sustainability report in the video description that goes over all the different measures that they're incorporating into their processes in order to help out the environment. Nick Wax has a bunch of other products for cleaning your technical gear like your Gore-Tex jacket, as well as products that will help re-waterproof or introduce waterproofing to those technical pieces of gear. I wash all of my outdoor gear with the TX Direct wash-in waterproofing every spring. And if you want a little bit of a hack for how Nick Wax color codes their different products, purple is for proofing, so waterproofing, and then green is for clean. There's gonna be five steps for washing your jacket, but before we even get into that, make sure you're checking the label of your jacket to see whether it can be washed at all or if it needs to be dry cleaned. I get asked all the time whether insert random jacket brand's name here can be washed and you just gotta be checking that label. For instance, with Canada Goose parkas, you have to be dry cleaning them, but with their lightweight fleece jackets, you can actually wash them. So there's gonna be differences in whether you can wash your jacket or it needs to be dry cleaned, even within the same brand. The first step for washing your down jacket is preparation. So make sure you take everything out of the pockets of your jacket, make sure all the zippers are done up so they're not catching and tearing holes in your jacket. You also wanna be removing all the standard detergents from your washing machine. That's gonna involve two different things. First of all, wiping out the soap dispenser of your washing machine, as well as running a rinse cycle just to get out all those standard detergents from your washing machine so that they don't have the potential to ruin your jacket. Once you've cleaned out your washing machine, including fabric softener, I forgot to mention that, you also want to be cleaning out the fabric softener because that can ruin your down jacket. It's time to wash your jacket and you want to be putting one item at a time inside the washing machine and then close her up. For the down wash, you want to be putting 100 milliliters into the liquid detergent dispenser of your washing machine. Fun fact, the lid of the Nick Wax down wash is exactly 50 milliliters. So you just put in two lidfuls into the dispenser there. And then you're all set. For the settings, I have mine set to a normal wash, but then I change the temperature so that it's cold, cold, and then a low spin. I'm also gonna change the soil level to be a little bit lower in between normal and light. 
The washing step is as simple as that, but it's probably the easiest step out of all of them. Once we get into the drying, that's when things get a little bit more complicated. But right now we're ready to press start on the washing machine. Once you're done the washing step, step three is to do a rinse cycle. Especially if you have a larger or puffier down jacket, you're gonna wanna do an extra rinse cycle in order to get all the down wash out of the jacket. Once your rinse cycle is done, that's where step four comes into play and that's drying. I have here a dryer, but like I said, if you don't have a dryer at home, then your best bet is to go to a laundromat and use the dryer that they have. Make sure to be careful when you're taking the jacket out of the washing machine. If it's a big jacket, it could be really heavy and you don't want any of the seams to tear. My jacket's a little bit of a lighter one, so it's not as big of an issue. This is when the tennis ball comes into play. If you have wool dryer balls, those will work really well as well. What the balls do is if any clumps built up in the down as it was washing, they'll help break up those clumps as well as distribute the down throughout the baffling. These are super important. If you don't have either of them, then go pick up some tennis balls. Or if you wanna pick up some wool dryer balls, these are way better than using dryer sheets and they help dry your clothing a lot more efficiently. I'll have links to the dryer balls as well as Nick Wax Downwash in the video description. For my dryer, I'm gonna use manual settings here. So I'm gonna set the temperature to low. I also have an extra low, but that's just a little bit too low. There's basically no heat involved and I do want it to dry relatively quickly and not take hours and hours and hours. I'm gonna start with 60 minutes of drying time and then check it afterwards and we'll see how we're doing. The first hour of drying is done. Let's see how the jacket did. It's pretty good. And later jackets like this are gonna take less time to dry. If you have a bigger, poofier jacket, then it'll probably take three, maybe more hours in order to get it nice and dry. The way to check whether the jacket is fully dry is to take a look at the baffles, see whether they've puffed up quite a bit. It's pretty noticeable of the difference between a jacket that has gone through a wash and is nice and dry versus one that could still use a little bit more time. This one, in my opinion, needs about another 20, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna throw it in there for step five, which is the second dry. The second drying cycle is done. Let's take a look at the jacket and see how it's doing. It's looking pretty good. All the baffles are nice and firm and plumped up. So you can see at, when I touch them, they're still nice and firm. They're not collapsing at all. If these baffles were collapsing when I touch them, then it'd be a sign that the jacket needed a little bit more drying time. If you accidentally ruin your jacket by not watching this video first before washing it, then go check out my review of the Decathlon Trek 100 down jacket. It's an awesome down jacket that costs under $100 without really sacrificing anything with regards performance or weight. 